mic check one two it's the y2k collector and what a day it has been man it has been a long one normally i like to try to put two videos out per day but the day just got away from me work is crazy right now um and so i'm coming at you with a quick evening video um a couple things one while everyone is running out and buying uh, Xbox 360 games, I've actually been turning my attention towards the NES. Um, you know, I picked up a few games, or I've repurchased games that I had in my collection from before, a few NES games, um, including Contra uh, and Castlevania. I actually had... Um, uh, Contra C, I think, was what I had, but I just picked up the, the original Contra on the NES, along with Battletoads, Mega Man 5, and the original Mega Man. And um, as I play through some of these games, because some of them I've played through already, um, a couple things that I really love about the NES, I, I do, in fact, like the fact that some of these games are really short. Um, you know, I don't always have a lot of time to play these long you know, RPG style games, or even some of these longer modern games. Um, I really do enjoy the brief, quick, you know, one session games that you can beat in about 30 minutes to an hour. Those are fun for me. Um, those kind of give me the same experience that I got back in the day when I used to go to the arcades. You know, when you would go to the arcade store and you would play like say Metal Slug X um, on the arcade, you know, the goal was to try to beat the game on one quarter two at max so for all my arcade folks out there who know what those days were like if you were whether it was you were playing a beat em up whether it be final fight or metal slug or ghouls and ghosts whatever the arcade game was you know your your goal was to really try to beat it on one quarter a lot of those games were really timed so you know you were probably spending an hour max trying to beat those games and i'm really drawn to that game type just because of how limited my time has been um as of late uh good news story is that the bathroom renovations are almost done so we uh the family and i can move back into um the house and i'm just kind of glad for that to be over but um just getting back to the pickups and the more recent games that i've been into the nes has been um the the thing for me and so I actually was able to pick up a cool little bundle using some Mercari credits. I don't really buy on Mercari as much as I was before, especially since they made that change. Um, and now, you know, you got to pay all the extra fees. Um, and it's just crazy. Those extra fees are just, they don't make any sense. I mean, I wanted to buy a copy of Ninja Gaiden 3 the other day on the NES. And even with, you know, the seller lowering it down to like 65 bucks after taxes and everything, it still nearly came up to $80. That's just retarded when you start to think about um, just how much fees and stuff is being tacked on there. So I got to come up with a new strategy to get that one. Um, and I think I mentioned on the channel the other day, I was able to get um, a copy of Shadow of the Ninja um, from GameStop's website. So that's pretty cool. The only thing that I'm a little fearful of is that it hasn't shipped yet. I haven't gotten a shipping confirmation and I purchased it like a few days ago. When I checked the order status online, it says um, pending item availability. So don't really know what that means. Don't know if GameStop is waiting for someone to trade in a Shadow of the Ninja cart or if it means that um, I don't know if they're waiting for a return to come in. Um, if you are a GameStop employee or if you're someone who works at GameStop and you know what this means, does this mean that there's a possibility that I could not get the item and GameStop is, I don't know what they're waiting for, I guess is what I'm asking. Are they waiting for someone to like, what's the availability um, factor? So, I mean, do they have it in their inventory? Do they not? And if they don't, are they waiting? Where are they waiting to get it from? So um, that's one thing that definitely has me concerned. I also am getting the same thing on the copy of Silver Surfer that I ordered. Um, both are for the NES. Um, Silver Surfer is a really cool looking shoot 'em up on the, it's basically like a shoot 'em up. It plays like a shoot 'em up. It's Silver Surfer, but it's like a Silver Surfer shoot 'em up. And I got that on the N uh, NES and then Shadow of the Ninja, um, just another ninja game, um, but a pretty cool looking one, I have to say. 
Um, I really like the way the backgrounds look and I like the sprite work. Um, for it being an NES game, the sprite work looks really good on Shadow of the Ninja. So um, just a few NES games that I have my eye on. Um, I put a video out basically asking if where you live impacts how you collect video games. And I feel like, you know, and it could just be, you know, just, I don't know, me watching too much YouTube. But I feel like California is probably one of the best places to go for NES games, either like California or Portland, because I just feel like people are always finding NES games up there. Um, we do have spots for NES games out here on the East Coast, but it's just it feels it feels more difficult to find um, the good stuff. You're always going to find copies of Excite Bike and Duck Hunt and stuff like that. But for some of the more kind of niche NES games, it's just a little bit harder to find. But luckily for me, like I said, I was able to pick up a quick bundle here. So I'm going to go through with you these games that I picked up, starting with this copy of Magmax. I think this is how this is this is uh, pronounced. Yeah, so Magmax or Mage Max, however you want to say it. But I picked this one up because this is a uh, basically you like a mech shoot 'em up, um, side scrolling mech shoot 'em up. I'm really into that style of shoot 'em up. Um, I just did a video the other day talking about Battle Unit Zeoth or Xenoth um, on the Game Boy. That too is like a mech style side scrolling shoot 'em up on the original Game Boy. So that that one was really fun. I actually played through that one and beat that one almost like as soon as I got it. So I'm um, looking forward to playing through this one and beating this one. I just kind of like these old school simple style shoot uh, side scrolling shoot 'em ups. I also like the complex ones as well. You guys have heard me talk about Hyper Duel a ton on this channel, as well as Android Assault, Hyper Duel on the Sega Saturn, Android Assault on the Sega CD. Um, two fun ones. Like nobody really does side scrolling shoot 'em ups better than Sega, but I will say that Nintendo has taken a good stab at it. And this is a good one to add to the collection. So I definitely added that one. Um, another one here, Double Dragon 2. Um, now, I'll openly admit on the channel, when I saw the listing, for some reason, I don't know why I thought this was Ninja Gaiden 2. Um, and when it arrived, I was like, Double Dragon 2? I didn't want Double Dragon 2. I wanted Ninja Gaiden 2. But you know what? Double Dragon 2 is still cool. I will still keep it. I still got a really good deal on the bundle. It cost me 13 bucks, so I'm not mad. Um, so Double Dragon 2, I will go ahead and keep it in the collection. This is a very cool beat-em-up. It's a classic. No, no reason to be mad or hate on Double Dragon. Um, I'll probably try to get um, the full Double Dragon series and the full Nin Ninja Gaiden series or Ninja Gaiden series on the NES. So those are some things that I'm working on. Much more feasible, much more attainable collections as they're all coming in at about 10 bucks or so. Last one that I got here is Ikari Warriors. And I actually had this in my collection. I actually had Double Dragon 2 in my collection as well. And I sold these games about a year or so ago. Um, and I never really thought that I would regret selling NES games, but I kind of do now, um, which is, you know, why I'll probably like not sell any of my retro stuff at all. If I sell anything out of my collection moving forward, it'll most likely be like PS4 and Switch stuff. I don't think I'm touching anything older than that generation. Oh, maybe some PS3 games. Maybe I'll sell some PS3 games. But as far as like my retro stuff, all that stuff is staying with me. Once it's in the collection, it's in the collection for good. Um, it's not going anywhere. So this is a pretty cool pickup. I like Akari Warriors. It reminds me of Mercenaries on the Sega Genesis, that whole top-down run-and-gun shooter style. So a really cool one. SNK, of course, they make some classic games. So three cool NES games. I'm not mad at these at all. Glad to be able to add these into the collection. All very cheap games. All of these games you can find for $10 or less. Um, and that's really the name of the game. I mean, I, I I picked up a bunch of the heavier hitters, as you can see over there, Mega Man 5 um, and Mega Man. Those are two very expensive ones on the NES. Um, and then the Castlevania Contra and Battletoads, those are about 25 to 30 a pop. So, but there are a ton of really good NES games that are cheaper um, than those in the $10, $5 range. And that's what I think I'm going to kind of do here because like i said much easier for me to get my hands on and i don't have to worry about everyone trying to go after them like they're trying to go after these doggone 360 games um although i will say that i watched a video i can't remember this guy's name but he just picked up some really cool um neo geo games the ones that i hadn't heard of um some that look like some really cool third person beat-em-up like or hack and slash style games 
So there might be some 360 games that I need to go ahead and check out before they're all gone because there are there are some there are some heaters on the 360. I just haven't been on it like that. And I'm not going to let the hype train cause me to now start over overpaying for the same games that were 20 to 30 percent less like a month or two ago. So don't fall for the hype. But uh, these are the pickups. Um, that's what's going on with me. Don't got a ton of deep thought for you today. Just wanted to show you some NES pickups. Let me know what you're picking up. Let me know what you're seeing out there. Um, hopefully you're having a good week. It's the Y2K Collector. Take it easy.